An empty mansion by the water. Pictures of what appears to be ghosts and demons. Sounds like a horror flick. A local writer says he came face to face with some angry spirits. 19 Action News anchor Danielle Serino has the pics new at 11. It took a seance, a psychic, and those who saw the spirits to reach out to the beyond. If you're still here, we'd like you to show us some sort of a sign for the camera. Halloween night, they tried to call up the souls buried on the grounds of an empty Brattonall mansion, or perhaps still living there. The mansion is located amongst the trees just on the other side of that creek down there. It was Michael Stevens who had the first encounter, scouting a location to shoot his short film called Mommy, ironically a horror thriller. When I came up to this room right here, this is where my arm got cut from my shoulder to my wrist, like someone running a razor blade down my arm or a sharp fingernail. He was taking photos when out of the corner of his eye... Here's where the ghost aberration picture occurred. He saw a white haze. A second later, picture two. Some kind of white object looking at me, what appears to be a woman's face with a long veil, giving me a very evil look. Picture three, the same object on the other side of the room. Picture four, vanished. This definitely made my hair stand on end. All four shots taken with a high-resolution digital camera, all on July 16th at 4.13 p.m. I've studied ghosts most of my life, uh, going through several hundred mansions, but nothing ever gave me the feeling this did. But those aren't the only pictures he captured. He got this at the back of the house. If you zoom in on this, you'll see little devil demon heads in this picture here, here. A face, mouth, nose, eyes. Stevens thought he had dropped his camera until he noticed this leaf at the top, perfectly in focus. The village of Brattonall has had its share of paranormal activities over the years, according to police chief Paul Falzone, who says they go back to this house owned by the first police chief in the early 1900s. Uh, his daughter was obsessed by the devil, not possessed, but obsessed. And that house actually has the first Catholic exorcism of any house in this whole area. As for this latest house, the seance didn't bring out a whole lot, but Stephen says he's not done with whatever cut him that day. Well, it was declaration of war, so I want to call him out and say, is that all you got? <laughs>